going on guys? Tall Fisherman Jay here and today I am pumped. Now today as the title we are going to set out and go and catch a new pet fish for my brand new tank. Now at the end of this video I will go and show you guys all my whole setup on my new tank. It is really really nice. Today right now we're going to go and try and get a pet for that tank. Now it is empty right now. Hopefully we can go get something. I want a bass. I want to catch a little bass four to five inches to put in that tank to start it off. And I'm excited. I have had a tank before, but it was really small and it wasn't legit. This time I got a way bigger tank. It is way more legit. And I know a lot of you guys are gonna say it's too small, it's too small, but just leave the comments to a minimum. There's a lot of videos, as you guys may know, on YouTube of ponds and tanks, and it looks so fun. And like I said, I've had one before and I want another one. So today's the day. Let's not waste any more time. We're gonna go and catch our pet and then head back to the house and show you guys the whole tank setup and get him acclimated and put him in the tank today. So let's do it. All right, before we go and try and get these pets, gotta get some bait. Something that the little guys will eat. We could use bread. We could even try to use little Senkos, but we want to make sure we get what we want. So we're going to get worms. We're going to get these little, these little tiny worms. They're thin, they're small. The little baby bass. Love them. So we're going to get these and some small hooks. And we're set. Bam. Got the hooks. We are off to the water. Got a bucket, aerator, little rod, and some bait and hooks. Now, we're going to try and be sight casting these little bass because what they do is they travel all along the banks looking for food and we're going to try and sight cast the bluegill pretty sure will be a lot easier than trying to get one of these bass so i hope we catch something i really want to put something in this tank and show you guys my setup that i have at home so let's get started yeah, you so, uh, no fishing, no fishing? Yeah, it's all right All right. Come on. You got him. It's too big. Pull him up. <laughs> it's like a Ellie. It's like a crazy. Oh, uh, it's called Beamworks. Dude, I keep getting big ones. <laughs> Yo, you're missing out on the action, man. The one day that I want smaller ones, I keep getting, keep getting the ones that are too big. There we go. I got one. Yes. Good size. Good size. He is very, oh, not as small as I wanted, but he might do, he might be perfect, you guys. He's about, he's about five inches. Oh my God. I think we got our little pet, you guys. Here we go. This bass is going to cut it. We're going to put him in the bucket right away and head home. We're back at my house. Now here's my tank set up. I'm going to go over that a little bit later, but the bass is in there right now. I don't know if you can see him. There he goes. Little bass. And what we're doing is I set it up already. I'm acclimating the water or the water that's in here to the water that's in the tank. Now, what I did was I siphoned uh, some water through this tube and it is now dripping. I don't know if you guys can see right there. It's dripping into the bucket. Now, we're going to have this process happen for about two to three hours. We're going we're gonna to give it some time, let him acclimate properly so when i put him in the tank he doesn't get shocked and die so we're gonna leave him in the bucket for like i said two or three hours and then we're gonna come back we're gonna put him in the tank and i'm gonna go over my whole tank setup here uh for you it's gonna seem like seconds but for me it's gonna be hours so here we go so it's been about four and a half hours it's been a while a lot of water has actually got into the bucket even from the dripping system so we're gonna take out our siphoning device and we're going to shut our aerator off. And our little bass is hanging out still. We're gonna take the lid off just so we can get him out of the bucket nice and safe. Got our lid off. And we also have our little net here just so I can avoid touching him as little as possible from transferring him to this bucket to the tank. Oh, look at that, he went right in the little net. Okay, let me open this. That'd be a good idea. All right, here we go. Transferring 
a new bass. Ready, bud? You won't be out for long. One second. Out of the bucket. Oh, he's ready to go. Whoa. All right, buddy. Hold up. No, out is the other way. There you go. And he's in. Whoa, he's freaking out. He's checking out his area. There he goes, you guys. There's a little bass in a brand new tank. He swam right behind the rock to hide, but he seems nice. He seems like he's adjusting, or he's going to adjust well to his new home. And there you go, first pet. Let's take a look at the tank. Let me show you exactly what I got set up here. Okay, so now the, ta now the tank have is pretty decent. I didn't go full crazy, but I got what I needed. Now it is a 55 gallon tank. It is sitting on a hollow wooden structure here with some storage down in there. Got some extra filters and that's where I keep the net and all that cool stuff. Uh, on top we have two uh, 30 to 70 gallon filters. I know I can use one, but I got two. I have a water heater right here, a manually controlled water heater. Uh, I have it set to 75 degrees, changeable to from 65 to 89. So that I have there. Also have a little uh, thermometer right there to give me a visual on the water temperature to make sure that it is staying at the temperature that I have it set to. Up top, I have a Beams Work LED aquarium light. Uh, highly suggested. My buddy Julian actually has this one and I saw it at his house and it was phenomenal. It has two settings. It has how they advertise it as daytime, which is what you're seeing right now, and nighttime is how they advertise it as well, which is that right there. Awesome. Actually, you know what? Let me turn the light off. There is nighttime with the lights off and then this is daytime with the lights off. So it looks really good inside. I have a few artificial plants and grass. I also layered this thing with two different types of rocks. Gave it some kind of structure. As you can see there, I kind of like um, made a little mountain around the plants uh, of with the rocks just to give it some structure in the tank. Um, I do have a lot of other things coming for this tank. I have some logs coming and some other plants on their way. But that is pretty much it. This is the new tank, you guys. I'm really excited to have some new pets in here. The first addition was the little bass that you saw today. But let me know what you guys want to see in this. Obviously, I wanted a largemouth bass. I want a bluegill. Maybe a peacock bass. Maybe, maybe an arowana. I don't know. You guys tell me what you want to see in this tank. Stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel to see the progression of my new tank. There's going to be plenty of videos to come. Also, leave in the comments below what I should name that bass right there. Give me some name suggestions. Um, and also, give me some suggestions on what you want to see in this tank. It should be a ton of fun on what we have to come in the future with this thing. I'm super hyped about it. But that's pretty much going to wrap up this video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, everyone, thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I will see you later. Hi, right, guys. So it's been about a week and a half after the last clip that you saw. I just wanted to do a little update on the tank. Now, the bass here is doing very, very well. He's gotten adjusted to his home. He's swimming around, he's eating. Uh, the water is still crystal clear. The filters have been cycling very well. And I have gotten, since the last clip that you've seen, a couple plecos. I don't know where they are right now. This guy didn't eat them. Where are they? Oh. There's one right there. I don't know if you can see him. It's kind of hard to focus in. Oh, there he is. There he is. There's one right there. And then there's another one down right there. And they just help to keep the tank clean. When I put him in, this guy actually tried to eat him because he's gotten quite territorial towards the space in the tank. But everything is going good. Don't forget to leave the comments and let me know what you want to see in this tank in the future. Okay, I'm out.